want to give a shout out to all of my patrons. Thank you so much for all of the continued support. And I am done. Okay, so I just finished up listening to The Last Wish. This is the first short story collection in the Witcher universe by Adrian Sapowski. And I want to give you my unedited thoughts upon finishing this book, which was just right now. So I, I like this one. It's, uh, I certainly like it a lot better than I kind of thought I was going to when I first started out this book. And I'm going to give this a solid four out of five stars. And I think that's what I predicted that I was going to give it. Um, but... Man, when I started this uh, this book, I was not digging it. And it, it I don't know at what point in this book that it finally clicked for me. Um, probably, you know, a few hours into me listening to this. But I just kind of couldn't get enough of it. It really kind of was right up my alley. And I, I don't really know why. Um, I think in part because I'm a big Witcher fan from the video games. Um, I've spent a lot of time playing all three Witcher games. Mostly the third one, though. I've spent way over 100 hours playing that third game and I, i'll play it again someday um, and spend you know dozens of more hours playing that thing and this book ultimately felt very much within that universe you know i often um see you know video games get trans translated into you know movies and tv shows and this in the like and it just doesn't really work that well and this one did i mean so it's clear that the the video game uh, like people that made that really took really good inspiration um, and did a really good job at at making that you know in this feeling the same thing because uh, it's ultimately in the game you know it's a bunch of of quests that's what the story is and it's these stories within a story and and that's what we got here now you didn't get that grand epic scale that some of the witcher games get you got these short stories but they were wonderful and that's what keeps bringing me back to the witcher um the video games you know because you know the gameplay is okay um, the graphics are really good but the stories are wonderful and i'm normally not a story video game player uh, i normally all about the gameplay but it's the little stories that keep me going because you're not you're never sure what the, what's going to happen they're not the traditional what you would think when you think of like a um like a vampire hunter or in this case a hunter of all uh magical beasts because you know you get the quest you go kill them you turn it in but that's not what the witcher is all about um the witcher is a lot more about compassion than that um you know he's he's not just trying to make a buck um even though that's what his job is. Um, but he's trying to do the right thing. Um, and the right thing might not always be what, um, what would be the obvious thing. And, and I love that about these books. Uh, you know, I, I can't give it a five out of five, though. And almost like an indescribable feeling in that it never grabbed me to the point where like a five out of five will. Um, I do need that overarching kind of larger story going on here. And while there was an overarching story, because like the way that this book worked was while it was a lot of little stories, what would happen is the book starts out with this story going on. And then pretty quickly it jumps into the first short story. And every time a short story finishes, they go back to that main story. But the main story isn't some big thing. The main story is essentially um, a... A, a, a little mini story in it in and of itself and so it, it i liked the way that it was structured it was fun the way it was structured but yeah there was no epic scope to it it ultimately was just a, a series of short stories and maybe i'll end up liking these more you know i have heard from a lot of people um i don't think i've heard this like outright I have heard, though, a lot of people saying, I love the short stories. I don't like the series as it got later on, and it turned into this traditional sort of fantasy, kind of epic, you know, larger story thing. I've also heard directly the opposite. Now, I clearly liked these books, these stories. So am I going to not like the overarching story, or does it mean nothing? Because I am, end up, not intentionally, but end up being a little contrary into my views on things. Um... And maybe, hopefully, that's the case here. Hopefully, I say I like these, and I also like these. I'm sure there's a lot of people with that opinion, but I certainly haven't run into them, right? or at least their opinions have not resonated with me in the past. So, uh, but yeah, it's I'm hoping for the best there. But but yeah, the the short stories. I mean, there were it wasn't really hit or miss. I felt like all of the short stories in this were in that four out of five range. Um, all of them had some sort of unexpected thing going on in them that really kept me going back to it. Um, all of them were not the, 
you know, cut and paste kind of story. They all had some interesting little element to them. Uh, they all had this really nice blend, at least for me, of things that you would kind of expect, you know, creatures that I know a little bit about, um, but also things that I'm not familiar with at all. Now, you know, maybe there's a lot of people out there where everything that's mentioned here, it's like, oh, yeah, I know that. I know that. I know that. Um, I'm not one of those people. So I did enjoy this blend quite a bit. Um, the writing style I thought was very interesting. It was fun, um, but nothing that was going to blow me away. And, you know, it, the prose was decent, certainly passable. Um, I liked the structure of these little stories. I mean, they all did feel like nice little teeny you know, short stories that worked with a nice beginning, middle, and end um, that were all very different from each other. I thought that was nice. Um, you know, the characters here I thought were engaging, although I already know these characters. And like in the video games, they're the same person. Uh, you know, you got uh, Dandelion, who is the same kind of person than in the games. You know, you have uh, Geralt, and he's exactly the same. You know, Yennefer feels really similar. Um, and those are really the only three characters that are really similar here uh, from the games, at least that I that I picked up on. I'm sure you know it's been a long time since I played the games, you know, a, a good handful of years. Uh, but but yeah, so the characters were well developed. But maybe if I didn't play the games, that I would not have enjoyed them as much because the character work certainly didn't blow me away. Um, and the Witcher is kind of a boring kind of guy. I mean, the whole idea of the Witcher is that he's uh, doesn't really have much of a personality, and that makes him both interesting and uninteresting at the same time. It's certainly different. And I do like the idea that he doesn't bring a lot of emotion into the actions that he's making in part because I find so many books that I read, emotion takes the forefront. In my own life, you know, emotion takes the forefront. Heck, you know, I, I'm married to a therapist. There's emotion going on in my house all the time. I've got two little kids. Uh, so to hear a character that is so uh, obviously not emotional about the decisions he's making, it's quite clear logic um, it, it's fun. It's fun to read. And, you know, the, the magic here was interesting, but again, you know, if I didn't play the games, I might think it was very, uh, tame in the way that it was, what has worked, but I already knew it. You know, there was these terms that were used, you know, when the character uses like art, you know, I know what that is. I know what it does. Uh, you know, when he does these different things, you know, I know about them, you know, so, you know, it, I do ultimately think that if I hadn't played the games, maybe this would have been like the three out of five category, but I don't know. I don't have the benefit of not being in that, in that scenario. So I, I don't know. Um, I thought the world building here was, uh, was one of the stronger elements. Um, even though these were short stories, it really did drag me in. Uh, but once again, I already know about this world. So maybe that was part of it, but it did, you know, they used a lot of different locations, uh, and it did kind of build up the story a little bit. I'm very interested to see where this goes though. I'm, I'm very much going to keep going in the series. Uh, you know, I think, I, I don't know exactly. Somebody mentioned in the comments, but I think the next one is another short story collection. And then I think I'm going into the main series after that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, no matter what I feel about the next short story collection, I do want to read at least the first one and the longer kind of cohesive narrative here and see what my thoughts are on that. But yeah, uh, color me impressed. I had a good time, uh, way more than I thought I was going to have after I started out these books, um, or these short, short stories. And, and yeah, uh, I, am I going to watch the show? Probably not. I'm not much of a show watcher. I, uh, that's not what I do. I, I read books and I play video games. That's all the free time I have. Uh, but, but yeah, so good time. Look forward to keep reading these. You know, if you're into short stories, although I'm not, so maybe that's not the only kind of people that are in here. But if you like the games, I think you're going to like at least this, this series of books. Um, and if you like short stories, then you've probably already read this because it's probably one of the more popular uh, short story collections in, in the fantasy genre. So, yeah, fun stuff. I, I encourage you to pick it up. Um, and uh, I'm going to end it there. That's it for me. And thank you. And as always, happy reading to you. Thanks again to all of my patrons with a special shout out to my Ascendant tier and Librarian tier patrons, Anna, Anna G, Ben, Brian, CJ, Darren, Jamie, My Book is Lit, Nathan T, Nev's Book Channel, Ron Reich, Russell, Ryan L, Andra, Ben, Brock, Colby, Evan, Jeff Pixler, Maria, Michael Sugarman, Sky, and Zion.